it, it was really an odd week, Brian, for various reasons. We just didn't perform like we need to, didn't practice well, uh, whatever it may be, and Morris Hill won the ball game. And on Saturday, they were uh, the better team. And we can point a lot of fingers at a lot of reasons, but uh, we're sitting here at 4-1. and one. Excited to be 4-1, uh, had an opportunity to be 5-0, and oh, but didn't score enough points, didn't stop them when we had to, whatever that may be, and uh, we got to swallow this grape and take this loss and find out what kind of character we really have as a football team and move on from here. For the Pioneers, and really for Coach, Coach Pioneer, uh, Pioneer Coach Frankie DeVusk, only his fourth loss ever against Mars Hill, but interesting enough, the last time the Pioneers started at 4-0 was 2002, and as we talked about earlier, it is the last time the Pioneers had lost to Mars Hill as well, both of those coming at Mears Stadium. Of course, that year dubbed the Mud Bowl. You can pretty much throw that out. Rob DeWald, touchdown catch over Ricardo Coakley. We kind of know what he did, what he meant to this program. That's, that's kind of an anomaly. But this is a pioneer team, obviously, that churned out 577 yards of offense and 39 points you expect to win. The Pioneers, however, do fall to Mars Hill and fall for the first time this year. They go to 4-1, and one. now 0-1 oh in league play. Mars Hill goes to 3-2, and 1-0 oh in league play by a final score of 45-39. A lot of scores, a lot of numbers. We'll talk about some of those numbers when we have a look at our Players of the Week when the Frankie DeBuzz Show continues right after this. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the 2 for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBuzz TV show and side of the Frankie DeBuzz radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Andrew Johnson Bank was founded on conservative banking principles. Over the last 30 years, they have steadily built their balance sheet and increased capital by following prudent lending principles and avoiding risky investments. In uncertain times, you can continue to count on Andrew Johnson Bank, your locally owned community bank. A strong heritage, a stronger future. Andrew Johnson Bank, member FDIC. Laughlin Memorial Hospital provides innovative, caring, compassionate service to their patients and the community through integrity and honesty in all that they do. Laughlin Memorial Hospital in Greenville since 1939. Whatever you do, do it well. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo proudly serves Tusculum College and supports Pioneer football. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. The Tusculum Pioneers suffered their first loss of the season this past Saturday when they took on Mars Hill and opened up South Atlantic Conference action by a final score of 45-39. to Despite that, the Tusculum Pioneers did have plenty of players who excelled in the football game. And let's take a look at those Offensive Players of the Week, brought to you by Creekside Markets. Bo Cordell, sophomore out of Cincinnati, Ohio, Indian Hill High School, what a day he had. 44 of 66, both school records. Four Pioneers recorded over 100 yards receiving for the first time in school history as Bo threw for 511 yards. Now Bo owns the all-time school record, 524 yards against Carson Newman last year. Now becomes only the third quarterback, third game in South Atlantic Conference history to have a quarterback throw for 500 yards. He owns two of them. The other belongs to former Presbyterian quarterback and Harlan Hill Trophy finalist Todd Cunningham. Cordell's now moved into second place all time in career touchdown passes. He threw five on the day, tied a school record, his own personal best. He now has 41 touchdown passes for his career. Just a sophomore out of Cincinnati. Our Grand Rental Station Defensive Player of the Week this week, Terrence Smith, the junior out of Riverdale, Georgia, Georgia, North Clayton High School, on the game finished with five tackles, including a sack and two tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Our Green Coach Tour Special Teams Players of the Week, Andy Rossetti, the punter, a freshman out of Kenneth City, Florida, out of St. Petersburg High School, finished with four punts, a 33-yard average, along a 44, two inside the 20, and none returned on the day. Also, Jonathan Lyons, the junior out of Hampton, Tennessee, from Hampton High School, finished with two kickoff returns on the afternoon with 64 yards along a 42. He came into the game in the top five in kickoff return average. He also finished with four tackles on special teams for the day. Our Andrew Johnson Bank called the game. 
The third quarter touchdown catch by Calvin Britt. Cordell looking into the end zone, corner of the end zone for Britt, adjusts, leaps, catches it, touchdown Pioneers! Touchdown Calvin Britt as the Pioneers strike first in the second half. Time now for our post-game wrap-up. Tusculum in the game, finished with 31 first downs. They were in the top 30 in the nation in first down gains this year. Mars Hill finishing with just 20. Tusculum 23 carries for 66 yards rushing on the day. Mars Hill 38 carries for 187 yards. Jonas Randolph had a breakout day, 229 yards coming into the day. Randolph finishes with 177 yards rushing and two touchdowns that day. Net passing, we talked about Cordell, 44 of 66, two picks. 511 yards. John Rick was 10 of 24 with a pick and 250 yards and two touchdown passes to P.J. Gore. Total offense, Pioneers ran 89 plays for 577 yards. Mars Hill 62 plays for 437 yards. Third downs, Tusculum 6 of 15. Mars Hill 1 for 10. Tusculum was 1 of 2 on fourth downs. Red zone chances, Tusculum 4 for 4. Meanwhile, Mars Hill finishes just 3 of 4. And the leader in the conference in sacks on the year, Tusculum finishes with just 1. Meanwhile, Mars Hill finishes with 5 on the afternoon. And just some of these numbers that continue to roll in. Senior kicker Gareth Rollins continues his toward pace. He's eclipsed the 200 point mark in his career Saturday. Two field goals and three points. His 203 points are the most ever by a Tusculum kicker and second for all players as well. Congratulations to Gareth Rowland. We're back with much more with Pioneer coach Frankie DeBusk as we wrap up the show. Looking forward to Newberry, homecoming 2010 with the Pioneers since 2000 are eight and two. That's when the Frankie DeBusk show continues right after this. Greenville Federal Bank, proudly celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Green County. Greenville Federal Bank is banking made easy. Visit online at greenvillefederalbank.com. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the two for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Laughlin Memorial Hospital provides innovative, caring, compassionate service to their patients and the community through integrity and honesty in all that they do. Laughlin Memorial Hospital in Greenville since 1939. Whatever you do, do it well. Creekside Market has three locations in Southern Greene County to serve, so while you're traveling to or from any game, stop by and pick up a Hunt Brothers pizza for those football Friday nights or Saturday afternoons. Creekside Market just off the 107, locations on the Asheville Highway, Camp Creek, and the Irwin Highway. Creekside Markets in Greene County. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. The pioneers have their first loss of the season from Mir Stadium this past Saturday as they fall 45 to 39. It's time to turn the chapter, start a new chapter. Homecoming 2010. Newberry comes in, coach the Newberry Wolves. They've got themselves a little nickname. Um, success hasn't always been the, the, for the Pioneers. I think after a bye week, we figured that out. Uh, you're seven and six after a bye week. So we're done with the bye weeks now. Now Newberry comes in. It's always been a great series, and, and it is homecoming, a uh, special week. But Newberry is a very good, very talented football team. Uh, I actually told our kids that Newberry will be the most talented team we play all year. Uh, they really remind me of ourselves in a lot of ways, some things that they do, and their players and their athletic ability. and. Even, even down to the mistakes that they make. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be a challenging week for us. Uh, there's a lot of festivities going on here during homecoming week. And with the presidential inauguration, Dr. Nancy B. Moody being inaugurated on Friday. And I'm having to wear my athletic director hat a lot and do a lot of those uh, oddities. But I told our kids, a lot of people come back for homecoming. But the main reason they, they come back is to see how our football team performs. So hopefully we can give them something to be proud of when we do line up against the Wolves, which I'm having a hard time calling Newberry the Wolves. Yeah. But... Uh, should be an exciting week, a lot of festivities. Hopefully we can, we can produce on Saturday and, and be creative enough to win. And some of those festivities that you're talking about, one of our, one of our all-time greats, I think the guy who set the foundation for this football program itself, 2000-2001, Air Raid 2000, when Dieter Brock came in here, Caleb Slover will go into the Hall of Fame. and He's on the staff. He's always been here. He's a Tusculum guy, true and true. He only had him for two years, and boy, what could have happened with him with four years? Well, very deserving for Caleb to, to be going into the Hall of Fame. And, you know, what, what a lot of people don't know about Caleb was his competitiveness 
is what drove him to be successful. So tough and such a competitor and uh, never really wanted to give up. You know, when he was playing, he was really the only quarterback we had. And we were joking about it the other day. There was only three seniors on that, that team. It was uh, Zerniak, Rashawn Strickland, and Caleb. So those guys really had to do, do their part. And in his first spring here, I think we only had 30 players go through spring practice. And, uh, it, you know, th he, he really did help develop where we are today and throwing the football and being creative. And uh, he, he does a good job for us now on the staff and was a great player. And uh, I'm excited for him to be able to be uh, inducted. Well, best of luck this week and uh, unfortunate from last week. Yeah, thank you, Brian. Pioneer coach Frankie DeBus. The Pioneers kick off with Newberry. Don't forget, it's kind of a, a special homecoming time. Uh, you always have it just a little bit later in the day. It'll kick off at 2 o'clock from Pioneer Field, the nice longer sports complex. Our coverage on the Pioneer Sports Network begins at 1 o'clock. Join us for the Pioneer kickoff show then, AM 1450 WSMG or worldwide through TuscalumPioneers.com. Don't forget to follow the Pioneer Sports Network on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com, search Pioneer Sports Network. Pioneers take on Newberry Saturday from Pioneer Field. Until then, for Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk, I'm Brian Staten. Go Pioneers. This has been the Frankie DeBusk Show with head coach Frankie DeBusk. The Frankie DeBusk Show. Featuring coaches' interviews, player spotlights, highlights, and statistical breakdowns. Brought to you in part by Greenville Federal Bank. Celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Green County. Applebee's, your neighborhood bar and grill. There's no place like the neighborhood. Laughlin Memorial Hospital. Whatever you do, do it well. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Andrew Johnson Bank, a strong heritage, a stronger future. Home owned and operated with locations in Greenville, Morristown, Jonesboro, Johnson City, and Cleveland. Green Coach Tours, celebrating their 65th anniversary. Grand Rental Station, anything you'll ever need to rent or buy. Consumer Credit Union, with three convenient locations in Greenville and Moss High. Creekside Markets, don't pass by, stop by, with three locations in Green County. Comcast Cable, call Comcast and ask about the Comcast Triple Play, TV, Internet, and phone. Comcast. The Frankie DeBusk Show is a special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network.